Hi, I'm so glad you are here. I need your help finding the missing parts of my number bonds. So let's get started right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. We are going to be practicing a new way to find the answers in our number bond. We are going to know the whole, the part, and we need to find the missing part to solve our answers. So let's get started. Can you count with me how many grapes I have laying on my table? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I want you to close your eyes and I'm gonna hide some of the grapes. Ready, set, close your eyes. Open your eyes. Do you see what I did? I hid some of my grapes under my basket. How many grapes are left? One, two, three. Do you know how many are hiding under my basket? Well, let's see if we can figure this out. Let me draw a number bond template. Here's my hole. Do you remember how many grapes we started with? Seven. I'm gonna use purple, I think it's fun. We had seven grapes. Now let's make the rest of my template. Here's one part and another part. I see three are showing. So here's one part that we know. And this is the missing part. I don't know what it is, do you? Let's see if we can figure out what it is. If I have three, there can only be one answer left to make seven. Take a guess and we'll see how many are hidden. Are you ready? Let's see what's left. One, two, three, four. Did you get four? Three and four make seven. Do you see how knowing our number bonds helps us solve the problem? Let's try that again with different numbers. Let me erase my board. I'll move my grapes aside. I'll erase my number bond template. Let's try using my strawberries. Count with me as we find out how many strawberries we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strawberries. What's my hole? Nine, so let me write nine in my hole. We're starting with nine strawberries. If this is tricky for you, we can use our fingers this time or extra counters to help us solve the problem. We'll try that this time. I'm going to cover some of the strawberries, so I want you to close your eyes. Ready, set, close your eyes. Open your eyes. I've hidden some strawberries under my basket. Let's see if we can figure out how many are hiding. First, let's find out what we know. How many strawberries are left? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one part we know, but I still don't know what's missing. If you don't know your number bonds already, let's use our fingers to count. So put seven in your head, and let's count on to see how many more it takes to make nine. Seven, eight, nine. How many fingers did I use? Two. 
So how many strawberries do you think are hiding? Let's see if you're right. There they were. Did you say two? Let's write it. Seven and two make nine. Let's try it with a different number. Let me erase my number bond. Let me take away my strawberries. Let's try my apples. Okay, count with me and let's see how many apples we're going to have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, how many apples are we starting with? That's our whole. We're starting with six apples. So I'm gonna write it in our whole. Now I'm going to hide some under my basket. Ready? Close your eyes so I can hide. Okay, open your eyes. Look at that. How many are hiding? I don't know, but let's see what we do know. How many apples do you see left? One. So that's our part. I'm gonna write it at the bottom part. Remember, it doesn't matter which part we write in, it still makes the whole. So if I know I see one, how many have to be hiding? There's only one answer. Do you know what it is without counting? If not, let's count together. Let's use our fingers to figure it out. Put one in your head, and let's count on to see how many it takes to get to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many fingers did I use? Five, did you use five too? Let's see if there's five apples under our basket. Do you think there is? Let's see. One, I'll put it right here. One, two, three, four, five. Were we right? Yes. Five, we're missing. We knew there was one left and it makes six. Five and one makes six and one and five makes six. That was pretty good with our apples. Let's try this one more time. I'm gonna erase my number bond template. And then I'm going to use my blueberry counters. So here are my blueberry counters. Will this be our part or our whole answer? Our whole. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many blueberries do we have? Ten. So let's write that into our whole. Okay, this is the last time we'll play this game. Cover your eyes while I hide some of the blueberries. Ready? Set, cover your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at what I did, it's backwards. Do you think it really matters? Mm -mm. Do you remember how opposites work? It doesn't matter what comes first. Let's see if we can solve our problem. We know we had 10. How many can we see left over? One, two, three, four, five. So let's write it in. I see we have five blueberries left over. Do you know how many are hiding just by knowing your number bonds? I had 10, I see there's five, but what's missing? I don't know. Let's count on to find out. You may know the answer already and that's great. If you don't know, what can we use? Our fingers. So let's put five in your head. Five. And let's count on. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. How many fingers did I use? Five. So let's write it in. Now, let's see if there are five hiding under our basket. Do you think there is? Let's see. Let's take that off. One, two, three, four, five. We were right. This time I wrote the answer in and then counted the blueberries. Did you catch that? Either way, we still get 10. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Maybe you can do that at home with your teacher. But before we go, I have one more game to show you. So let me clear these off. And this is a fun little card game you can use to practice your number bonds. So I have my deck of cards from aces to nine, or you can use your number cards from zero to 10. We are going to see if we can find the missing part. So I'm going to turn over two cards. Whatever is the bigger number, that's my hole. So I'm gonna put my hole over here. Four is one part. What part do I need to make eight? So four and what make eight? Do you know what it is? Did you say four? You're right. And you know how you can use your cards to help you find the answer? You can figure it out on your big number. So I had four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cover those. How many are left? Can you see that? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to write it in. Four and four make eight. You could even put a circle around it. There's one part another part, and here's my hole. Do you see how that works? Let's try it one more time. I'll leave my number bond template for you this time. Erase my part. Let's do it again. So I take two cards, flip them over. Which one is my bigger number? 10, so 10's my hole. Nine is my part. Do you know what number is missing to make 10? You can put nine in your head and count on. Let's try that. Nine, 10. What number did we get? One. Nine and one make 10. So you can count on with your fingers to find the answer or you can use the picture on your whole card to find the answer to. Do you see how fun this is to find number bonds using your deck of cards? Try playing this at home as well. Bye, see you next time.